also uh, finding a pinhole leak in a radiator uh, so I have the radiator out and I put uh, uh, aluminum tape on my radiator hose holes and the overflow tank hole and I have my radiator cap on so I just put my garden hose in my radiator I have a transmission uh, cooler on the radiator so I covered my uh, transmission cooler holes with the rag. I'm also going to blow them out because I think some water may have gotten gotten into them. <coughs> and I have my uh, air compressor taped in. It has uh, the dust blower attachment on. I tried this before and I did find, find the pinhole leak but I had to put my hands on the aluminum tape because uh, they're getting blown off so I put my uh, radiator hose clamps on both uh, taped off areas and it worked. So let's give this a try. Turn my compressor on. So it really takes two hands to do this because the water's going to be spraying out. So I kind of have to hold it, keep the water in. Um, my pinhole leak is right there. I mark it with a marker and tape. stuff is holding, kind of pulsing. That's it. Uh, so I have it marked right here leaking on the top. I am just going to put JB weld on the top and it should only take 10-15 uh, minutes to dry it. I'm going to put JB weld on the bottom even though it doesn't need it. <coughs> so you can get a uh, brand new radiator off eBay with free shipping for $70. But uh, since I have this out and I don't have a need to drive it right away, I can give this a try. But uh, this is off a 1987 Chevy S10, uh, four wheel drive, 2.8 liter. And you can see uh, the fins are, are have corroded and they're gone. Uh, you just touch these fins that are discolored and they just crumble. Uh, this isn't how I thought uh, the radiator was constructed. It looks like the water just flows through these thin uh, metal slats and then it has a uh, radiating material to just dissipate the heat. Uh, this radiator came out pretty easy. It only took about an hour to take it out. So here's my battery box that I made for it. And here is the uh, top of the fan shroud that holds 
the radiator in, surprisingly, and that's all it holds it in. Uh, so I wanted to take take the battery out anyways. So I took the battery out, and then to get the transmission lines off, which are these, that bolt into the side of the radiator, I had to take my battery panel, which sits right here. Uh, very little fluid came out of the transmission lines. And then I would take the two bolts on each side out, out first of the radiator shroud. I put all my extensions together on my ratchet so they'd reach and I could just spin it around and then there are three bolts in the front and then you take your top radiator hose off and your overflow tank and then how I drained it was just taking the bottom radiator hose off and before you do that put your catch pan underneath the truck pull that off the radiator will drain <coughs> uh, the top sh shrouds off and the radiator will pull right out you can see it uh, slides into these rubber slots here so this is for a 1987 Chevy S10 So we'll put some JB Weld on this and see if it holds. Uh, just about August, I think I'll uh, wait till November to put in a brand new one if this uh, weld ho JB Weld holds. So all right, going into the nickel and dime, dime zone on this 87 S10. I've owned it for. Uh, 21 years. Bought this truck in mint condition with 50,000 miles. I don't drive very much. It has 102,000 on it now. And uh, it's been a great truck aside from uh, uh, ru rusting problems and just rust on everything. Alright, thanks a lot.